Hi guys, I'm going to be making um, a beautiful fall dress with this fabric and um, it's quite thick, it's a very thick fabric um, and this jersey has got some stretch to it so what I've done is folded it into into half so this is the fold bit and that's the open bit so I'm going to fold it again over into another half so four basically folded it into four and um, as usual like I mentioned in my first video I always use this faithful pattern of mine for everything I make yeah and um, what I'm gonna do now is basic so, since this is the folded bit like where all fabric are on fold rather than here where you've got a space and you've got space here as well to open the salvage edges are, are this way so what you want to do is make sure that this bit of your pattern which is the place on fold bit should be facing that way so this is this is what you need to do you need to place it this way yeah pin it on and we'll be back yeah I've pinned my pattern onto my fabric and um, I'm just going to show you this bit what I'm going to do so if you look here this is the salvage edge this bit and this bit while this bit is still on fold so I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut off cut open the fold so just basically open up this fold all the way down and we'll be back so when I place my pattern on my fabric at this bit very close to the um, the waist I've put placed some pins you know so at the end of the day I don't need to have my armhole chopped up or my neckline chopped up open or something we don't need to cut that we're going to ignore this top bit all we need this pattern for is to assist us cut the curl for our bum and waist all the way down to the length so I'm going to do that bit and I'll show you what it looks like so as you can see there's already an opening there but I just wanted to show you what it should look like um, before you cut and after you cut so before you cut this is what it looks like then once you're done cutting and you take this out this is what you should have this is exactly what you want to have so what I'm going to do now is to open the whole fabric up and I'll show you the next step once you flip your fabric um, right sides together this is what you should have at the end of the day and um, right now I've placed pins all around it so what I'm gonna do now is to basically stitch from there all the way here and up to about here right I'm going to do the same for the other side up to about here then on the top bit this one I'm going to do I'm going to stitch from here all the way to about here and leave about um, let me see I'm gonna say I'll leave about ten inches opening there stitch from here to here and stitch from here to here and I'll be right back so continue to run your stitch from this end here to here leaving about eight inches open for your armhole then run from here to here stitch about six inches to leave this wide wide neck line open um, this dress is going to be a two-wear dress it could be you could wear it as a cowl neck drop um, dress or you could wear it as an off shoulder neck dress so do the same for this side stitch and leave about seven to eight inches open measure your arm and know how large your arms are to to know how much space you're going to leave then for this bit you it's about six inches so stitch it all once you're done stitching what you're going to do at this point for the neck hole is you fold it and you stitch all the way around just continue the same at the end of the day but it's individually you don't have to do it together so once you're done with this uh, you air hem the bottom bit of your of your skirt of your gown rather you fold it once or fold it twice up to you I like a clean finish so sometimes what I do is I'll um, run a zigzag stitch up because I don't have an overlock machine so I'll run a zigzag stitch and 
folded just one and stitch on top and it looks very fine to me i'm also going to do the same for this for the size run a zigzag stitch all around it to give it a clean finish so once you're done you have your beautiful dress ready to wear yeah guys um remember to clip your corners all these corner points you need to clip them with the scissors so they can fold in beautifully once you turn it inside out so now when i'm done with the stitching just the um the hem is left i'm going to do that and i will show you how i style it thank you so i'm done with it now and this is what it looks like it looks a lot better for me i'm gonna show you pictures of me wearing it because uh, my mannequin is a size 10 and i'm a size 12 so obviously it doesn't bring out the best features on my mannequin but it still looks cute you can wrap this up in like 10 minutes and you're ready to roll um, the fabric is fantastic. I used one meter of um, jesse like fabric, but it's quite thick. And um, I think it's got some knit in it, like a knit jersey fabric. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not very um, educated when it comes to fabrics, but I know a little to know that it's jersey and it's um, fantastic. So if you want to make some autumn, quick, easy 10 minutes outfit, there's the one I would recommend. Take care. Thumbs up for me if you like it. Down below. Bye.